Hey Sass fam, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Chrissy and I am the owner of Sugar and Spice Glitter Co. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do a zipper tumbler using adhesive vinyl. I know there are many videos out there in the YouTube world on how to do zipper tumblers. A lot of them show you guys how to do them using fabric. So I thought I'd switch it up a bit and show you guys how I did this one using a beautiful patterned vinyl from North 80. So if you guys are excited to see how I created this easy zipper tumbler, then let's go ahead and jump right on in. Okay, so this video is going to be really straightforward. What you're going to need is a 12 by 12 sheet of adhesive vinyl and I'm using this pattern vinyl that I actually purchased from North 80 last year and I had a few sheets left over. So I'm going to be folding this 12 by 12 sheet in half diagonally so that we have a center line from corner to corner. Once I've done that and I folded it, I'm going to then take my scissor and I'm going to cut right along that center line. And you can also do this using like a paper trimmer if that's easier for you. So now I'm just going to take that triangle that I cut off and I'm going to wrap my tumbler to see how much of space I have that I need to trim off my tumbler. So if you want to make it easy for yourself, you can just measure from top to the bottom of your tumbler, whether it's 9 inches or 10 inches, and then you can just go ahead and measure your paper and trim it with your scissor. I am just eyeballing how much I need to trim off at this point, and I'm going to just take my scissor and trim that bottom piece. So now off. I'm wrapping my tumbler again, looking to see how much I need to trim to make a seam down the center of my tumbler. Um, so you can see I have a lot of overhang, so I'm going to just quickly trim that and I am leaving a little bit more than needed because you can always trim but you can't add once you've cut so I'm trimming off little by little and still leaving a little bit of overhang on both sides so that once I've wrapped the tumbler I can just go in with a razor or a um, craft knife and trim that up perfectly. Okay, so now that I have that done, I'm going to, again, just eyeball where I'm going to be placing my uh, adhesive vinyl, and I'm going to peel back about two to three inches of that backing sheet, and I'm going to, with my tumbler standing up, I'm going to just put my adhesive vinyl flush down on the table, and I'm going to tack that piece that I've already exposed on to the tumbler. Now I am leaving a little bit of overhang on the bottom of the tumbler as well because again I'm going to be trimming that off with a craft knife or my razor blade. Um, like I said before you can always take away but you can't add if you cut too short so I'm always tend to leave a little bit of overhang on the bottom and on the seam so that I can just go ahead and trim that off when I'm done applying my vinyl sheet. So I'm using my fingers to smooth over that adhesive vinyl while also remo removing the backing at the same time. What's really nice about this adhesive vinyl is this super easy to lift up and fix if you have any wrinkles or any bubbles underneath, which is what I'm doing right here. Um, you can see just how easy it is to work with and the vinyl stays really nice. It doesn't warp, it doesn't wrinkle, none of that stuff. So at this point, I did decide to grab my squeegee and I'm using the felt side to help push out any wrinkles or bubbles. Now that it's all laid down, I'm going to go ahead and make my seam perfectly down the center and I want to make sure that I am putting a straight line so I'm using my razor blade just to trim off any excess. Again, I'm not trying to remove a ton of adhesive vinyl, just enough so that the seam looks nice and straight. Thank you. 
Now that I have that done, I'm going to tape off the bottom rim of my tumbler and I'm going to just be doing that ever so slightly above the curve from the bottom. And I'm just going to be applying my painter's tape as straight as possible all around the bottom so that I can use my razor blade to help trim that off. Now usually I would be using a cup trimmer for this part, but I just could not find it at the time. So I figured, hey, I'll just tape it off and show you guys an alternative if you don't have a cup trimmer you can always do it like this what you want to do is make sure that your line is as straight as possible and then take your razor blade and then slowly just trim right underneath that tape line being very careful so that your hand doesn't slip and you don't accidentally cut yourself once that's done you can just go ahead and pick up that bottom extra piece and pull it off then you can go ahead and remove your painter's tape. Next up, I'm going to start by taping off both sides of my tumbler, so it, where the V is and then the bottom rim. And we are going to paint and apply our glitter using the paint adhesive method. This is when you use wet paint to adhere your glitter to your tumbler. So I'm going to just tape off like you see here, and I'm gonna be grabbing my favorite black paint, which is the Folk Art Trusted Quality Outdoor Acrylic Paint in the shade Coal. I really, really love this paint. It is really deep and dark, and any paint that you like, you can also use for this method. It doesn't have to be folk art. It can be apple barrel. It could be the um, paints, pop of color paints by Counterculture DIY. Any paint would work for this method. The idea is you just wanna take your paint, you want to paint it on, and while your paint is still wet, you want to then go ahead and sprinkle your glitter right on top. As the paint dries, it will stick and hold on to that glitter and then that's basically it. That's how you adhere your glitter using the wet paint method. Once I'm done applying my glitter, I like to pull up my tape immediately after. So right away, I don't like to wait. Um, so yeah, just go ahead and pull up that tape right after you're done. That should leave you with a nice crisp line. So once I've done the inside V of my tumbler, I'm gonna go ahead and apply more transfer tape to the bottom rim. And then I'm going to apply my glitter using the same exact method and the same color paint. By the way, this glitter is called Hype and it is a part of my Sugar and Spice Glitter Co. collection. There will be a link in the description down below as well, so you can go ahead and check it out. So after your glitter has completely dried, you do want to go ahead and dust off your cup. That's one part I forgot to show you in this tutorial was dusting off the excess glitter that's on the vinyl. You want to make sure there's no glitter on that vinyl and then you can go ahead and seal it using the Krylon Clear Sealer that I just showed you guys. Once that is dried and you have it nice and sealed in, we can go in with our resin and to resin my tumbler, I am using the Counterculture DIY Facet. I am using 30 mLs and I am spreading it first along the entire surface of where my adhesive vinyl is and once I've gotten that part of my tumbler nice and sealed and covered I'm gonna go and start spreading that resin on the glitter portion of my tumbler I do it like this to help avoid any glitter that may not have been sealed in place from traveling onto the vinyl of my tumbler. Now, if you get a couple of stray glitters here and there, it's no big deal. You know, glitter is going to stray every now and again. But in order to avoid that from happening, I do like to apply my resin in sections. So that does help.
Okay, so while your tumbler is curing, we can go ahead and begin prepping our zipper. Now this zipper and the zipper pull I did get on Amazon and I got a ton, I don't even know how many feet of this zipper I got, but it is so pretty and um, yeah, you can get a ton of it on Amazon. So I will have a link in the description down below as well as the zipper pulls. We're going to go ahead and begin by trimming off that excess fabric. You do not want to keep that on. You just want the zipper part. And you can see it's a neochrome kind of rainbow ombre zipper that we got here. So yeah, just go ahead and trim off any excess um, fabric that may be on your zipper. You want to do that to both sides. Okay, so I got this cool little gadget and I saw someone use it in a YouTube video and I thought, how cool is this? So this little gadget we have here is like a towel holder. So you stick it onto the wall and you can kind of just stick a towel in there. All right, so I've slowed down the video to show you guys how I put it in. So basically you want to turn the zipper with the pull facing inside and you want to just slide that right in there. See how it's fitted right inside? and we have it nice and snug. Now, once you have it, you can insert your zipper hands-free without having to hold that little tiny pull in your hand and fuss around with it. So I'm going to line up my zipper exactly how I want it to be when it goes through the zipper. Now, because we put the zipper pull kind of inside out, you do wanna face the teeth of your zipper um around so you want the teeth of your zipper to be facing the actual gadget itself and you're going to see here in just a minute what i'm talking about so make sure that your zippers are lined up evenly you're going to go ahead and face those teeth inside so in a second here i'm going to turn it around so i went ahead and i turned the zipper around and now I'm going to, while trying to hold them as evenly as possible, I'm going to start pulling them into the zipper itself, okay? Now I'm going to put one side in and then I'm gonna be fitting the other side. I'm trying to keep them as even as possible here. So take your time. Um, this little gadget has been super helpful ever since I started using it. So I stick one side in and then I go ahead and stick the other side in. And instead of having a fuss with that little tiny pull, you have this gadget here that is really so helpful. So I'm going to just, while holding one side, fit the other side in and just kind of push it down with my fingers. Now, once you have a little bit of that zipper pull down sticking out at the bottom, boom, you see how it comes out just by pushing it with my thumbs. Now I can grab that with my finger and slide down the rest of the zipper. Once that zipper is pulled down enough, we have it nice and closed. We can then just push that zipper pull up through the hole from where we inserted it and we have our zipper nice and put together. All right, so now it's time to apply our zipper. Our tumbler is nice and cured. That first resin layer is nice and smooth. We're gonna go ahead and grab our zipper. We're gonna grab our UV resin and we're gonna, of course, need a UV resin light. And I will have everything in the description down below so you can see exactly what I'm using for this method. Now I'm going to put the zipper on my cup just to visually see um, how wide I need the opening, how, you know, how just how it's gonna look on the tumbler. And um, there was a little bit of unevenness at the bottom of my zipper, so I'm just taking a scissor and trimming that off so it's nice and even. After you've cut it, you can take a like little lighter to the end so that you don't have any fraying or anything like that, just to melt it in place. Now that I know exactly where I'm going to apply my zipper, I'm going to get my UV resin and I'm going to just put a line of that UV resin on the inside of my zipper. And I'm gonna do it piece by piece here. 
Okay, so now we're going to take our zipper and we're going to grab that UV resin and we're going to start at the pull and we're going to just put a line of that UV resin down to the end tail of our zipper. Once we have that on, we're going to just position it onto our tumbler and exactly where we want it. Now, don't worry if you get any of that UV resin onto the tumbler itself. It's going to cure. We're going to cover this with regular resin anyway. This is just going to help us adhere that zipper. So once you've got that laid down where you want it, go ahead and grab your UV light and cure it until it is no longer tacky. For me, I do about two rounds of 99 seconds using this UV light. Now that that's cured, we're gonna go ahead and move on to the two individual tails of our zipper. And I'm just going to line that up to see where that zipper is going to finish. And if I have any excess, I'm gonna just take my scissor and trim it off. I'm going to take that same UV resin and I'm just going to make a line right in between where that glitter and vinyl meet and I'm going to go all the way up to the tippy top of where that point is on my vinyl and with my gloved finger I'm going to just apply some pressure there hold it in place while I cure it with my UV lamp. Once we got that one side down, we're going to move over to the other side and again, trim as needed. Apply your UV resin where you're going to be adhering your zipper and then cure with the lamp. We're gonna finish this off by applying UV resin the rest of the way all the way up to the top and again curing that with our UV lamp. So now that our zipper is nice and cured, I decided that I'm going to add my vinyl decal and I went with the quote, you are capable of amazing things because it is true. If you are watching this video, just know that you are capable of amazing things. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. So I created this vinyl design in Cricut Design Space and I went ahead and sized it to the area that I was going to be putting it on my tumbler. So inside of that zipper, you want to make sure that you measure to know exactly how big you need your decal. And I'm going to weed it. Now I have this um, quote with a black offset. Um, and so I decided I wanted to do a black outline with the purple inside because I thought it would go perfect with the color theme that we have going on in this video already. Um, and so, yeah, I'm just going and weeding out all of those little tiny inside pieces. I'm going to start by putting my black offset down first, and then I'm going to put my purple vinyl right over that. So here we are. I'm going to give you guys a close up look and you can see exactly where my vinyl decal is going to go. I went ahead and decided I needed to prop it up so I can see properly. So I just put a little case of washi tape underneath. I had plans to do something with that washi tape. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet, but there may be a video soon with with those glitter washi tapes. So stay tuned for that. But here I go. I'm putting down my black offset vinyl here. And then I'm just going to grab the purple holographic vinyl and apply it right on top. Excuse my head and glasses in the way. <laughs> I guess I really needed to see what I was doing here. But yeah, once I got it centered and on evenly, just going to rub, rub it down with my finger and pull off that transfer sheet. Okay, so we are doing something different in this video because I am going to seal in my vinyl decal using the UV resin. Now, usually at this part, I would 
either tell you to spray seal or go in with quick coat by counterculture diy but i said you know what let me see if i can seal this in using uv resin i'm already using the uv resin on the zipper this is going to make it so easy to cover using regular resin afterward so i just went for it i took my uv resin i spread it all around where the vinyl was i made sure i had enough of that uv resin to really seal in that vinyl decal and once I have it spread out nice and evenly inside that glitter portion of my tumbler, I'm going to go in with my UV light and give it a nice good cure. And then we're going to go in on top of it with regular UV resin. Now I am going in with my heat gun just to get any bubbles that may be present in the UV resin popped and also get it to even out. And then I did go in with about three good hits of this uv light so 99 seconds three times and that was really good i got a nice good cure all right so now we're moving on we're gonna go ahead and prep our zipper i like to wrap it with painter's tape to keep it standing up so that it doesn't get doused in resin and i'm taking counterculture diy facet for my top layer of resin and i'm gonna just smooth that on so because we did already seal in that vinyl decal, I'm not going to have any issues with getting it covered with my with my facet. So yeah, after this facet is nice and cured, I am going to go in on top of that with a final coat of regular artist resin. And then that's it for this tumbler. Um, I do like to go in on top of the zipper. So I'm putting my fingers up to the zipper and then putting a very light coat of resin on top of the zipper. I personally do not like to have the zipper entirely encased in resin. I like to have it lightly covered with resin so that it's smooth and it's not going to pop up. But I just don't like for the zipper to be completely covered. I feel like you really have to go in with a lot of layers of resin and then it gets bulky and it's just my personal preference. So I am going in with like small little passes with my finger on top of that zipper as you can see here. But I'm, I'm not soaking it. Okay, so just wanted to point that out. I also want to note that I leave the tape on my zipper until the cup has been completely cured. Um, I do not find any issues with removing the tape, but this is what the cup looks like when it's done. Now, I did an extra step and I made an extra like little keychain charm here. Um, I made that charm completely by hand. I printed out a rose and I made it holographic. So if you guys want a little tutorial on how I did that, let me know. I thought it was super cute. Hey guys, that is it for today's tutorial. I really hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up for me. And if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. Don't forget to drop any questions in the comment section down below and check out the description for all the details on the products that we use for today's video. I also wanted to take the time to invite you guys to my mentorship and exclusives group. This group, you can gain early access to some of my YouTube videos. You also get 20% discount on all of our products on our website, including upcoming apparel and custom drinkware. You also gain access to all the lives and tutorials that I did in the previous months as well. And many, many other benefits that are included in my mentorship group. So definitely check out the link below so you can see everything that's included in the mentorship group. The first week of every month is always the best time to get in. With that being said, I love you guys and I will see you all in my next video. Mwah.